Oh, hello. Now, here we have the routine number one, and that is, as promised, uh, is uh, yoga for aging with dignity. And what we need to do is create a routine that we can do for 10 days. This is going to be easy going, uh, get started. Don't uh, push yourselves and only just do as you much as you can. I will follow my book because it's easier, then I won't lose it halfway through. And let's we go. So let's see. The time is just about 12. We'll do about 20 minutes, I hope. And let's get started by just sitting comfortably. Now, I am sitting like this. I've been sitting like this for years, so don't try to copy me. But sit on the floor if you can. Put some cushions, as many as you need to feel comfortable. And if you cannot sit like this, just sit with your legs crossed or one leg crossed or the other one. But preferably just both legs bent. So once you sit here, we straighten the back and we are going to tune in to our yoga, meaning we have to let go of the outside world. So for the next 20 minutes, all, you, all there is is just movement with the body and tuning on the mind. Okay, so join me. So the back is nice and straight, the shoulders are relaxed, the face is relaxed. And then you tune into your breath. Now to tune into your breath, just bring your awareness to the tip of the nostrils. And if that is difficult for you the first time, just touch your nose. And you feel that finger and nose, then remove it. But keep your awareness on the tip of the nose. And now you spread in and out as you normally do. And you are letting go of any thoughts that come to your mind. At the moment, there is nothing else you have to do but just to follow this for 20 minutes. Forget about the worries you may have. And when you're ready, open your eyes, straighten the back once more. And remember this, you can do separately. Once you don't have to follow the video, you can just sit here as long as you like. I would recommend two to three minutes before the movement starts. So first thing we do is just three deep breaths where we inhale, we retain the breath, we exhale, and we retain the breath again. We do that three times, lifting the arms. And I'll count for you. So the arms are by the side. So inhaling, two, three, four, retaining, two, and exhaling, two, three, four, retaining, two, inhaling, two, three, four, Retaining two and exhaling two, three, four. Retaining two, inhaling two, three, four. Retaining two and exhaling two, three, and four. So that prepares the body uh, to have a bit more energy. So now we're going to start warming up. Warm ups. First, just rest your hands on your knees, and then we just gently rotate the torso one way, and the movement comes from the hips. The head is still in line with the torso. It's not leading with the head, it's leading with the torso, and the head just follows like this. And maybe another one. And then we rotate the other way, changing. And one more, and back to the center. So now we do camel rides, and that's for the thoracic part of the back. So rest your hands on your upper ankle or the floor, whichever way you can, and then slowly as you inhale, bring the torso forward, and you arch it back, and exhaling the other way. Inhaling forward, exhaling back, inhaling forward, Exhaling back, and one more, inhaling forward, and exhaling back. 
and back to the center. The next one is for the neck, and you have to do it slowly just to see how your neck is liking it. So from here, just gently lift the chin up. Just feel that nice stretch on the muscles at the front of the neck. Exhaling, bring the chin to the chest, and gently push the chin on the notch. And once more, inhaling, coming up. Exhaling, chin to the chest. And slowly back to the center. So now we are going sideways. Right ear towards the right shoulder. Just slowly go as far as is comfortable, holding. Inhaling up. Exhaling to the left. Inhaling up. Exhaling to the right. Inhaling up. Exhaling to the left. Inhaling up. And now gently we're going to rotate the head. First to the right as far as is comfortable. Holding. Then bring the head forward. And to the left. And forward. To the right. And forward. To the left and slowly forward. So now we're going to do side bends to prepare the torso as well. With the arms by the sides, we're going to bring the left arm up, gently stretch, and then with the inhalation, lift, and with the exhalation, just glide to the right. If you need to move your hand wherever you want it to support your body, but feel that beautiful stretch on that side. And just hold there, breathe at ease, breathe at ease. We don't retain the breath unless I tell you to. So just hold there for a couple of breaths, and then inhaling, coming back up, and exhaling back to normal. The other side, inhaling, arm up, exhaling, side bend. And holding there two or three breaths. And with an inhale, coming back up, and releasing. One more, a little spinal twist. We're going to twist the whole uh, torso to the right. So first bring the left hand on the outside of the right knee, the free arm behind the back, and slowly twist to the right, follow with the head if it's okay for the neck. Otherwise don't. Just hold the And releasing, come back to the front. And then the other side. And slowly back to the front. Last one from here, we are going to bring the hands to the front and slowly we inhale and with exhalation we glide the hands and do a forward bend, bringing the torso towards the floor, stretching the arms to the front, just hold there, three or four breaths here and with an inhale slowly coming back up. So that is the part for the torso, now we are going to work on the legs. So for the legs, you bring the legs out. I'm going to remove my cushion as I need it, but you feel free to have cushions or blankets. So now we are sitting like this. We rest behind, having the, bring the hands behind the back, the fingers pointing away. Just park the toes, uh, the heels, sorry. And then now we do with the toes. So bending one way and the other, and bending and the other, and bending. And keep going about seven or eight times. And when you finish, just let them go. And now wheel the feet towards the floor and away, towards the floor and away, floor and away. Another two or three. It's just warming up and let it go. So then we circle the feet one way. And we circle the other way. And coming to a halt, we release. We bring the legs to the edge of the mat. And slowly we bring the legs out. So now that's working on the hip joint. And slowly bring the feet towards the center. And bring them to the outside. And to the center. And hold them a bit longer there. And release. Bring the legs together. Sit up. 
interlocking the hands behind the right knee, bring the knee to the chest, straighten the back. And slowly lift the leg up. And just feel how beautifully this muscle is working, the hamstring. And release. And one more. And release. And one more. And then just keep the leg there and bring your hands to the ankle as far as you can go and lift as much as you can, trying to keep the leg straight. So you feel the pull on this muscle and just hold it there. This is all warm-ups and we'll use it later on when we do an hour class. And then slowly releasing, we bring the foot to rest on the thigh, we lift and then we rock, we rock, we rock. Working on the hip still. Hips are very important. If the hip joints are good, you can walk as long as you like. And bring the foot to the ground, take the leg out, sit, take a breath, and we'll do the other side. Interlocking the fingers behind the left knee, bring the side to the chest, straighten the back. When you're ready, lift the leg and hold it. And release. And lift it. Try to straighten it. And release. And once more, lifting. And getting hold of the ankle and lifting, trying to straighten it. Don't force the back. This is more for the leg. Now hold there. You realize the muscles adapt, and within three or four seconds, you can go a bit higher if you want to. And releasing, we bring the foot to the thigh. We lift in, and then we rock, working on the hip. Very nice. And back to the center, leg to the foot to the floor, come out, and stand up sitting. So now we're going to work a bit more with the abdominal muscles. I'm going to start you with the easy ones, which are the boat, a boat. Imagine you are on a boat and you're about to row. So first find your sitting bones just nicely parked on the um, mat. Then brace the abdominal muscles, that means, yes, and then lift. Uh, lean back and bring the legs one foot high. That's it. And bring the arms parallel to the ground. And your fall there. It's going to be hard the first time if you haven't ever done it. So you can bring the legs just a little bit lower if you want to. Or do one at a time. But do something. Task your, now, your muscles. You'll be so happy when they develop. So your fall there. And slowly releasing. Bring the feet to the ground. Bring the hands behind the back and release the abdominal muscles. Now one more, it's called a plank and this is going to be hard for the wrist, so do it very slowly. We bring the feet to the edge of the mat, we lift, just holding there, and if that feels good for the wrist, then you can lift a bit more, straighten the body, so it's a plank. And just hold that, look at the ceiling, don't drop the head because it's very hard for the neck. So keep the head in line with the torso. Just hold in there. Feel that nice stretch on the uh, wrists. And when you're ready, slowly exhaling, come back to the floor. Bring the arms to the front and give the hands a little shake. Release any tension. No need to hold the tension. Now we do another one for the abdominals. And this one is the full boat. So we find the sitting bones. We straighten the back. We brace the abdominal muscles, we lean back. This time the toes are in line with the eyes. The arms are parallel to the floor. And your soul there, nice and strong. Yes, you can do it. Don't shake. If you shake, it's okay. <laughs> but keep the abdominal muscles tense. That's what we are working on. Now the five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Back to the floor. Hands behind the back. And release. So now we're going to roll over and start working on the back and the calf muscles, the leg muscles. So first, you sit up, cross the legs, and then roll over. So we are rolling over. So now we are what we call uh, a table, a little table. Or we call it also the all, on all fours. So the hands are under the shoulders. The knees are under the hips. 
the toes are pointing away because we are going to work on the knees. Very slowly, bring the buttocks to the butt, to the heels, pushing the floor in front of you. And feel that nice stretch on the knees. And normally, most people say, oh, that hurts a little bit. But if you hold it there for a few seconds, the pain seems to go away. And that is because the knees are adapting. So you just hold it there, and then when you're ready, slowly come back up. And from here, we do the dog on its knees, keeping the buttocks and the thighs where they are. We bring the torso to the floor, the arms to the front. So we are arching the back nicely. Feel it on the small of the back. Just hold there. While you're on the floor, breathe at ease. And slowly coming back up into all fours. So now we're going to do one called the a hip opener. And that is a pigeon. And the pigeon is the second. Pigeon has two movements. This is the second one. So just come with me. Bring the right knee forward. Strike in the left leg. Point the toes away. Lower the buttocks to the heels. Hands on either side. Inhaling and exhaling. Just bring the torso to rest on the thigh. And bring the arms to the front. And if you can, re relax the back. And let the forehead go towards the ground. And just relax. We hold that for 10 seconds. It works nicely on your hips. It helps you to prevent uh, sciatica. And when you're ready, slowly coming back up. Hands on either side. Tie the tucks under. Toss under. Come back to all fours. So now we do the left knee forward, straighten the right leg, hands on either side, lower the buttocks to the heels, and when you're ready, bring the torso to the thigh, arms to the front, and finally, the forehead towards the mat, and hold and breathe. And when you're ready, just come back up, Tuck the toes under, back lifting into all fours. So tuck the toes under, we're lift, lifting, and then we're walking the hands towards the toes, and slowly, very slowly come up into standing. We are nearly there, time is almost there too. So this is the first sequence, and we'll change it as we go along to introduce more things and go a bit faster and a bit stronger. So that is the idea, but first you have to gradually start. So from here, now we are going to do just repetitions for strengthening the legs, which is not quite yoga, but that works. I have discovered that it's good to have strong knees, strong thighs, strong calves. So for that, we're going to do two things. First one is use the squats. Use your arms for balancing. The feet are parallel to each other. Hip with a part for better balance. And then when you're ready, slowly lower. And hold there one or two. And inhaling, back up. You like that? And again. Holding. And coming up. That's two. And again. We are only doing five today. So this is four. But as gradually as you start doing more and more, you end up doing 25. <laughs> yeah, it's just not bad. You'll probably take two months to get there. So that's your five. The next one is one to work on the inside of the thighs, which is very important muscles there. We're going to do uh, lunges. So for the lunges, we're going to take the legs wide, the feet parallel to each other, and still put your arms here for better balance. And we're going to do five as well. So we go first to the right, bending the right leg, keeping the left leg nice and straight. Okay? The hands in the prayer position because it's easier to get them out of the way. And then inhaling, going up, exhaling to the other side. So that's one. Inhaling, exhaling. That's two. Coming up, and that's three.
Dann da zwei. And that's five. And coming up, bring the legs together, give them a little shake, give the arms a little shake. And that's about it for the first 20 minutes routine. So now we're going to sit and we're going to do three more little bits. I'll show you. So first, from here, just shake the arms, take the legs. If you want to with the feet, parallel to each other, hip width apart, you gently swing the arms to release any tensions on the shoulders or the back. And then when you're ready, come back to sitting. So we're sitting once more. And now we're going to be quiet. We're going to do a little bit of, a bit of breathing and we do a little meditation. And the relaxation, I'll just show you how to get into the posture. And then I'll leave it there. Next, maybe two or three more videos from, from this one. I'll take you through a full yoga nidra, which is a beautiful thing to do. And I'll describe it as it comes, as we, when we get there. So first, just sitting comfortably. We are going to take three breaths as we did at the beginning. Hands on the sides, when you're ready, inhale in, two, three, four, retain in, two, and exhale in, two, three, four, retain in, two, inhale in, two, three, four, retain in, two, and exhale in, two, three, four, retain in, two, inhale in, two, three, four, Retain in two and exhale in two, three and four. So that is it for the breaths. So rest your hands on your knees and we are going to do just one minute meditation. This meditation is called passive meditation because we don't want to move if possible. And it's focus. The focus is going to be on the breath. As we did at the beginning of this uh, section, you bring your awareness to the tip of the nostrils and just witness you breathing in and you breathing out. And let go of the outside world, let go of any thoughts. If they come to your mind, you say goodbye. Okay, first thing is just check your posture. It's important, back is straight, head in line, shoulders relaxed, face relaxed. Hands resting on your knees or you, wherever you can, you feel comfortable. And there is no need to do any mudras, which is just the hand movements. We'll talk about it later on. So just straight in the back. Tune in to your breath. And follow your breathing in and your breathing out. And you can do that as long as you like. After the first time, probably you want to breathe a bit longer. And then when you do that, you slide down on your back and relax. I won't relax today because the video is getting longer, but you can from here do anything you like. So just relax. The way you relax is letting go of the legs, allowing the feet to drop to the sides. Bring the arms by the sides, if possible, with the palms facing upwards, relaxing the back. Closing your eyes and just be, be there. You can keep your awareness on your breath. And do that as long as you need to, as long as you feel that you have the time to do it. And then when you're ready, that's it. You have done your 20 minutes, actually 27, 25 minutes, sorry, but that's how it is. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video. Uh, and remember, you had to do it for 10 days.